history of this site is that this used to be a very industrial site. Ocean-going boats would come up here, dock along the river, and offload cargo onto factories that were along here. There were no environmental controls back then, so the land got contaminated, and in many cases, the river got contaminated too. And then the factories left. The Grace Ferry Crescent was an industrial wasteland with uh, lots of old structures, uh, abandoned vehicles, just full of junk and overgrown weeds, and not at all accessible to the public. Uh, you couldn't really walk back here unless you were very adventurous. We didn't know exactly what we had here environmentally, so we had a, a phase one and phase two study done. It showed a fair amount of contamination. Most of it was metals, so we hired, of course, an environmental consultant and eventually an environmental contractor, and we basically got rid of the stuff that was really bad, took it to an environmental hazardous waste landfill, and the rest of the stuff was dealt with by capping it over, both with the asphalt trail and with many, many inches of good, clean soil. The word skookle, you may know, is Dutch. It means hidden river. This part of the river was really hidden for 100 years because of industry. So part of our goal is to open that up and reinvent that and put it back into the fabric of the city. Philadelphia has always been in great communion with its rivers and its river fronts, whether it's Delaware, whether it's Schuylkill or what have you. So this is a tremendous opening that we have here. The magic about this, though, is it opens up more river to more people, and especially to folks from south and southwest Philly, and I know they've been waiting for this for a long time. We're just so pleased that all of you could be here to help us dedicate this great new trail and greenway, which today becomes part of the circuit, which is the network of trails in and around the greater Philadelphia region. For Grace Ferry Crescent, as all these projects, they don't happen by themselves. They happen with a vision, with a vision of the community and partnerships, public-private partnerships, neighborhoods, and government working all together to get it done, which is exactly what we see here today at the Grace Ferry Crescent. It's easy access to recreation now. This is the best inner city fishing there is in Philadelphia, a bike trail, a nice place to walk their dogs. Yeah, I know where they're heading. They're heading down to their park. At the the Commonwealth has provided for us. It just changed the whole attitude of the neighborhoods. Once you leave out of your house and come out here and look at the beauty of this, and you, uh, you might go back home and say, wow, and I can't sit here. I want to come back out here and sit out here for two hours. To the residents, it means a lot. We say this is recreational. This is economic development. This is healthy living. This is green jobs. Everything that's happening down here is good, and, and I think this is the neighborhood are the real beneficiaries of that, and we're thrilled. Pennsylvania's Brownfields program is the best in the country, no question about it. We were the first with our Act 2 program. We've done a lot of work. We've uh, revitalized about 4,000 sites, including 1,700 of them right here in the southeastern part of the state. We're the most agile program, and we know how to get it done. There are a lot of sites in Pennsylvania because of its industrial past that would need redevelopment. So whether we turn them into new industrial sites for new employment or whether we turn them into trails like this one, we have a lot of work to do.